Because the symbols we use for inequalities are different than the ones we kind of tended to see for equations, they can be a little bit disconcerting at first and maybe a little intimidating, but really almost all the rules you know for dealing with equations work for inequalities. There's only one different rule. Only one different rule um, for working with inequalities than all the rules you've already been kind of getting used to using for equations. And that rule is if you multiply or divide by a negative number, then you switch the sign. And that really is a lot simpler than it looks. Really, all we're talking about here is if you have an equation like, say, negative 2x is greater than 4, when you divide both sides by negative 2, just like you would if this were an equation to solve for x, divide both sides by negative 2, cancels here, 4 divided by negative 2 reduces to negative 2. When we do that, because we've divided by a negative, we switch the direction of this sign. So instead of getting x is greater than something, we have x is less than, and 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. That's it. That's the only difference between working with inequalities and working with equations as you've been doing for quite some time. And all you need to know beyond that is what the different signs are. We have the greater than signs, which are either like this, which means that when something is just greater than the other, or greater than or equal to. It's also equal. Ooh, equal, equal. And then the less than sign, like this, which also has less than or equal to. And always what we're looking for is the number, the bigger number is always placed on the bigger side of the sign. So if we are using the less than symbol, we're saying that the number on the left is smaller than the number on the right. If we're using the greater than sign, we're saying the number on the left is bigger than the number on the right. So you've used these symbols. I'm sure you've seen them before. That might be just kind of a good refresher. Use all the rules you've been used to using to solve equations to solve inequalities. To graph inequalities, all you need to do is graph what the variable can be. So if you were, say, uh, given the, the statement x is greater than 7, all you need to do is find 7 on your number line and check to see if it can be equal to 7 or if it's just greater than or less than. In this case, it cannot be equal. It's just greater than. So because it's just greater than, we draw an open circle around 7, saying that we're marking that point, but we're not filling it in to include it. And then it says that x is greater than that, so x is anything bigger. And all you're graphing is what x can be. If you had, for instance, um, y is less than if you had, for instance, y is less than um, 3, less than or equal to 3, yeah? then we find 3 on the number line. In this case, it can also be 3, so we actually fill in that circle. And then since y is that, that point or anything less, we shade in what y can be off to the left. That's all there is to it.